Y'all won't know the housing project that got the most tourists in trouble? Come here, let me stress you out right fast with this New Orleans hood history lesson on the Iberville. But before the 1940s, the Iberville was a Storyville or a red light district, you know, where you could get hookers and such. But by the 1940s, Storyville had them got dilapidated. They tore it down and built a white only housing project for low income. In the 1960s, when that integration hit, it moved all the white folks to the suburbs and the black people into the project. In the 80s and 90s, the Iberville project was straight hustlers over there. They'll catch you in their French Quarter and walk you to the La Corner store by the hood. See, they kept one of the historic Storyville buildings and it done went from cat house to corner store so the white people want to come over there and check it out. A.K.A. buy some drugs. Because the Iberville project didn't have such an intimidating look like some of the other projects in New Orleans. And even though the Iberville project didn't get damaged during Hurricane Katrina, they still redeveloped it into a better looking neighborhood and they kept some of the original buildings to keep its historic value. Now today the Iberville is called the Bienville Basin Apartments. My grandmother lived back there. The crime ain't what it was, but it's still bad because somebody tried to carjack my poor grandma. Lucky she stayed with that yeah on her.